What's up guys? We are out in the flats today in the game fish. It is a little too rough offshore and only have a few hours. So we just wanted to see what we could do in the flats. We are going to go for some trout, redfish, flounder, really any inshore species that bites. And what we are going to start the day off with is none other than the Slam Shady 2.0 little paddle tail. Uh, it's on like a eighth ounce jig head, just kind of doing some prospecting. The water is very dirty and not clear at all. So I'm gonna try and get some vibrations in the water and see what we can get. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just hop on the GoPro and get to fishing. Oh! Just got a ladyfish hitting it at the boat. I'm going to do whatever I can to try and keep this ladyfish on because we can use this as bait. It's a ladyfish. Oh, wow. I'm going to try and get it so we can get it as bait. Yeah. He ate it right behind the boat too. I saw him come and get it. Oh, really? Yeah. These things are extremely hard to get in the boat. All right. See, he just freaking, he just shook his head off. I like, ah. These are mini tarpon boys. really good for cut bait for redfish so that'll be good for cut bait and all I'm doing is we're just like I said drifting the flats the wind is coming from behind us going this way the tide is rising and we're drifting out so I'm just Casting out my lure that way. Oh, Mr. Peters is on. It's pulling drag, whatever it is. Came off. Oh. I'm just uh, straight retrieving this Slam Shady and kind of getting hits on the on the fall. So let's see if we can get another fish. Oh. I was getting some nibbles. Got something. I think so. It's a small little guy. Yep, it's a small little trout. Oops. All right, we gotta wash our hands before we grab him. That way we don't mess up his slime layer. It's a nice little trout. Very small, but still very fun. And we will get the quick release on them. Straight back down to the bottom. Right. Well, we're catching fish. And like I said, just using this Slam Shady on a 1 8 ounce jig head. Just kind of twitching it, jerking it off the bottom. I'm trying to find a pattern here.
think I got a nice one. Oh, he's all right. Oh, he's a little bigger. Trout? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Oh, come on, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm trying to help you. guys he's the so far the nicest one of the day he's probably about 13 see him oh nice he's pretty good yeah he is 15 he would be considered a keeper i'm gonna there he goes Small. <laughs> Little trout. Yeah, I think, yeah. Another small one. Oh. Make sure that, I'd give it one more hook set just to make sure, there you go. All right, Mr. Peters is on, don't know what it is. Staying down, whatever it is. I don't think he's too big. No. There he is. What is it? That's not a bad one. It's the biggest one you caught today. <laughs> oh, easy release. Good job. All right. <laughs> Real. It's a circle hook. There was something on it there. It must be really little. Where'd it go? I don't know, just reel it. Oh <laughs> Okay. Here, grab this. Yeah. Don't horse it, whatever it is. Might be might be a red or a big trout, I don't know. Hopefully it's not a shark. Hopefully it's not a stingray. Um, what? Mr. Peters is on to something, I don't know what. It took one big run. Staying down, whatever it is. It's a freaking shark. Ah, story of our lives.
He's probably a four footer. Really? That big? He's pretty long. Ah, uh, maybe he's three. Oh, it's a hammer or a bonnet head. All right, don't lift that rod tip too high. Grab the uh, thing. What? This? Yeah, it'll. Yeah. Trying to see where the hook is. Oh, it's right in the corner of his mouth. completely fine too. Can't believe he ate a little shrimp. Yeah. Alright, I got three more cast. Alrighty guys, we are ending it. Uh, only had a couple hours out today. Well, we only had like a few hours, but weren't able to get as shallow as we wanted to get some reds, but we were still able to get on some nice trout, and I hope you guys do enjoy the inshore content. If you want to see more inshore content like that, make sure to let me know below. This upcoming fall and winter, I plan to do a lot more inshore fishing just because I want to get on some reds and I want to get a 25-inch trout. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button for me. It would really help me out. And until the next video, I hope you're able to get out on the water and catch some fish.